good? Yeah, we good. Hey, this is Brandon with D4 Guns, and it's time for the Featured Gun of the Week. Uh, this weekend is actually going to be Memorial Day weekend, so to commemorate the Fallen, we're actually going to feature for the next couple of weeks some military rifles, which will conclude uh, on June 6th with a D-Day gun. Uh, we're really excited about that one. That's a, a true treasure, so stay tuned for that. However, this week, uh, we're gonna focus on something a little bit more French. So this is a Remington MLE 1907-15 uh, Bertier rifle. Uh, this is a French contract rifle. So when World War I broke out, uh, the French found themselves with a shortage of military rifles. The standard issue was the LaBelle rifle. To try and keep up with production, they actually found that the Bertier rifle uh, was a little bit easier to produce. So they actually had two standard rifles during uh, the First World War. Now, to produce or to be able to keep up with the production and the needs of the French army, they had to outsource some of their contracts. One of the companies that picked up the contract was Remington. Now, this is where Remington enters the story. Remington at the time saw an opportunity to pick up military contracts as the United States was neutral and now uh, they had this whole world that needed military rifles. So they picked up actually two contracts, one for Mosin Nagants and the other for Bertier rifles. It seems that they took a little bit more than they could chew or uh, uh, overestimated their ability to fulfill both contracts. They uh, were able to ink a contract for both of them, uh, the Bertier being for the French. Uh, however, uh, the Mosin was easy for them. The Bertier had some hiccups to say the least uh, with problems of stretching their staff too thin. They also had problems with strikes and uh, translating the schematics, which were supposed to be very exact by the French. So they quickly fell behind on their production numbers and the French actually ended the contract. They did take about half of the rifles that Remington produced and they shipped off to Europe. The other half were left in the hands of Remington, which were then put together, assembled, and just sold on the civilian market. Now this particular rifle is a canceled contract rifle. We know that this was part of the canceled contract because it doesn't have a serial number. All the ones that were sent to Europe uh, actually received a serial number. Now, it can be hard to find uh, these Bertier rifles, these Remington Bertier rifles in their military configuration because a lot of these were sold so cheaply that they were sporterized by people and used as hunting rifles. So if you want to take a closer look at it, uh, go find it on d4guns.com. Thank <laughs> you.